we're about uh, four and a half, maybe five thousand feet up. And uh, these guys are usually pretty gentle like this. I mean, sometimes they'll coil up and act like a rattlesnake. But if you just approach them and touch them softly, it's maybe three and a half, maybe almost four feet long. Probably a male. I think females are a lot thicker. I'm not the best. Maybe you can tell by their vent. I know there's a couple of guys that I know. They could tell by their pooper. Right there where my pinky is. So all of you out there who uh, who are familiar with Culiobreds, 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 they call it. So these guys love squirrels and mice and rats. I'm sure they'll eat their, they constrict their prey. But um, if you get them all riled up, they'll actually act like a rattlesnake. If you look right on their tail, they'll rattle that in bushes and it'll sound just like a rattlesnake. Uh, the rattling, not just like a rattlesnake, but the, the bushes will. And then these guys will puff up and hiss. And their hiss, they kind of have like a rattle hiss to it, which uh, sounds very rattlesnake-esque. So he was right here on the dirt road up here. Pine trees, firs. Maybe we're looking like 5,500 feet up. But um, yeah, this just a month and a half ago, there was like three feet of snow around here. And these guys are hiding somewhere. This is the fourth fourth snake we've seen today on the road. We've seen, a, we saw two of these guys. We couldn't get up on them. And then we saw a dead one, so five, and a, a racer, um, a coach whip, red belly racer, whatever you want to call it, but they're called coach whip snake. And he was moving. Both of them were moving pretty quick to get across, but there you have it, little Sonoran gopher snake. They call them um, uh, bull snake. They're similar to the rat snake and the pine snake of like the Midwest and the East Coast. And really cool snakes. Growing up in California, I used to catch these guys all the time. And just like people, uh, snakes are really cool to where they have individual personalities. So this guy, pretty laid back, pretty nice. There's other ones you can catch, and I've caught them and put them in aquariums and been like, oh, cool. Maybe he'll calm down, you know. Man, they're just, they're just mean the whole entire time, just like people. Some people are mean. Some people are nice. And uh, this guy's pretty laid back. So he was just out here sunning himself. Don't want him to get killed, to get run over, but just wanted to say hi to him, make a cool little video. Got the truck over there. Let's see how he matches up against the truck. He's trying to find a hole right here, but this is my desert quicksand truck. No, he's... Well, look at that head. See how his head kind of bends over and will flare out a little bit if he'll do it. He'll... He did it right here. Watch. Now see how his head flares out? Almost looks rattlesnake-like, almost diamond-like. And so people will kill these because that's part of his mimicking. He'll flare that out, make it look like a diamond. They're like, oh, he was a rattlesnake. Nope, just literally a harmless. And if they do bite you, it's just pinpricks. It's, it scares you. It gets your heart race going, your heart racing, just because of the hissing. So uh, let's go let him go over here in the sun and uh, let him go do his thing. They just kind of blend right in there. I mean, that's some some pine needles. They'll get in there with grass and everything else and get... See if he'll get mad at us. No, he doesn't want to get mad at us. There mm -hmm. he goes. Have a good day, guys. Adios.